What's up guys, this is Nick from stridewise.com where we look at men's boots and high-end casual wear. Today, I am at Son of a Stag, which is the UK's biggest heritage menswear store with David. How's it going? Going good. Yeah, good. Thank you very much for having me. No, um, thank you for being here. It's a question that a lot of people ask and I thought definitely David would be the perfect guy to answer the question, which is uh, what are the differences between the three types of denim jackets? There's the type one, the type two, and the type three. Uh, I'm wearing a type two myself, but we're gonna be going through all the different types right now uh, so that you can decide which one is right for you. You wanna, you wanna kick us off? That's the whole question. Yeah. What are they? Absolutely. Well, it's a grand old tradition. Um, started in the late 1800s. Initially, they were called blouse jackets and companies like Montgomery Ward, all those big um, retail department stores, they, they would produce their own kind of blouse jacket. Um, Levi's came out with the first type, which would have looked something like this around the turn of the 20th century. So the Type 1, before 1936, had no pocket flap. Um, one single chest really? pocket. Really? Yep. So I think, I think a lot of people would see this, let's show it to the camera, would see this and say, well, this is missing the, 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 the flap here. This is clearly some brand has gone rogue and uh, taken away the flap. But this is actually the most, the most legit old fashioned one you can make. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's legit, um, but it's all, it's all based on time, really. So this, as I say, is like pre-1936. The pocket flap wouldn't, wouldn't have been there. Rivets on the front there, the knife pleats, donut buttons, uh, leather patch, cut nice and short in the body because jeans were much higher back then. So right. obviously it's to, to complement the rise of the jean. Sure. Um, and, if, and also if you flip it around, you'll see pressed in pleats on the back there so that when you're on horseback, Mm -hmm. You've got lots of freedom of movement. Uh -huh. A cinch back as well. For yeah, the, uh, this this for the cinch shape. back to me is like the the what I think of when I think of like a Type One. Yeah, it's quite an iconic feature. Yeah. Um, all right. So with the Type One, so the main the main things that differentiate it, it's the it's the one pocket on one side of it, right? Single chest pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and you call these knife pleats? Yeah, knife pleats. Can you explain those? They're sewn in. Um, obviously, a touch of that is decorative. Um, but it also allows for a bit of movement in the front, in the chest, okay. um, as well as across the back. Um, so basically, short and boxy, lots of movement and lots of room for layering up as well. Um, do which, the fits do the fits change a lot between the different types, or does that just kind of depend on the brand? They do. Like in in terms of traditional type one, two, three, mm. they go on a like a, quite an identifiable journey in mm -hmm. terms of fit. But then, as you quite rightly say different brands get quite playful with it, which, I mean, we've got some examples here of as well. Like, there's some uh, Type 2s which have hand warmer pockets. Some people think that's a sin, but mm -hmm. it's, it's just part of the evolution of, uh, of design. You know, it's uh, pretty pretty interesting how, how some brands do it. Like, only are ones which will go ahead and make the body of a Type 1 really long, you know, and, that, and that's unheard of in terms of like heritage accuracy. Oh, this is another type one. This is another type one. This was just to show you sort of after 36, that pocket tab is uh, has been added. You can still see the rivets are, are there still. Mm -hmm. um, still got the cinch back, but it's just a little bit, becoming a bit more what we know as a, as a modern modern jacket. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's, that's the type one. Okay. Moving swiftly along. The birth of the 1950s saw the birth of the Type 2. And we've got an option here from the Vanishing West, which is this one. Very nice. So the first thing you see, obviously, two chest pockets. Nice and one. symmetrical, yeah. Yeah, exactly, that symmetry is there. Slightly longer in the body on this one. The rivets on the pockets are gone, and they are bar tacks now. Okay, so the Type 1 versus the Type 2. The Type 2 is typically a bit longer, typically a little slimmer. It doesn't have as many rivets. It's got an extra pocket on the front. Extra uh, pocket. All of the pockets have the flaps. We've we've lost the cinch thing at the back. The and cinch is gone, re yeah. Replaced them with these adjustable waist, uh, what do you call these, waist cinch button cinches? Tabs, yeah. Button tabs? Mm -hmm. Okay. Shall I hold that one up next to it so you can see? There it is. Ta-da. All right, here's a question. Mm. Why do the denim jackets have these uh, little rectangle things here? It's, it's detailing, really. That's um, it? Yeah, I mean, they hold the pleats in place. Without that, it would it would probably lose its shape very easily. But oh, yeah, okay. As, as, far as, as far as I know, I mean, it looks great. 
<laughs> so, sure. so why not? Okay. Um, I, I don't know who the first person to, to do that was, but all, all of the earliest models tend to have that kind of thing. Like on, on some models, they align with the buttons. On, on some, they don't. Um, on some, they have less. So like some, some like really early Montgomery Ward style jackets, they'll just have one in mm -hmm. the middle or two maybe. Um, this one's got three. All right, type three. Type three, here we go. Um, it's probably the most drastic change between between the type iterations. Mm -hmm. um, slimmer in the, in the body. Okay. Um, so is it longer as well than the type two? Yeah, slightly longer. Uh, a little slimmer in the arms. Slightly longer arms. Um, you see the knife pleats are gone. You've got this V sewn oh, in. Yeah, here. no pleats. It's got that nice sort of um, V shaped pocket construction. You know, copper top buttons. Uh, yeah, so it's like it's it's almost. In some regards, it's simple. Even though you've got these big Vs under the pockets, you, you're losing these like pleats, which is in, in some sense removes like the one of the most identifiable parts of a denim jacket. But on the other hand, it makes it probably a bit more versatile and a bit more uh, more simple, mm. which is like, I feel like that's what a lot of heritage guys like as well. When did this come out, the Type 3? Early 60s was, was the Type 3. Um, um, what is the, what's the inspiration behind the, the Vs? Uh, just, just slimming? I, I mean, I guess, I guess so. As a, a design, it, it it brings everything to the center of the jacket. Everything follows on, doesn't it? Like with the V that points down to the to the pleat there at the front, mm -hmm. um, and the same on the back. It's um, the the design where the pleats would have been is sewn in um, mm -hmm. rather than just having loose fabric. Um, but yeah, that that's it really. And this is the one that that stuck. And it's the most recognizable. This is the most popular one. I wouldn't say it's the most popular here. Um, no, but, I mean in general. But certainly, in, in like, the world, out and about, people yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. I can see that, that's that, that's what my hunch would have been as well. Like, mm. I mean, look, I like I like these rectangles, you know, but uh, it's it's certainly a bit busy. Pleats as well, I feel like might throw off some more modern consumers. Yeah. Uh, plus, you get the two pockets. I feel like the V's are slimming to an extent, but also it's simpler to look at and it's and it's longer and it's uh, more of a modern fit. Yeah, definitely. And 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 going on from that, we've got you know. As I mentioned before, companies like Oni who, who take that one step further and cut it even longer to, to include the hand warmer pockets on the side there. Uh -huh. And that's definitely more for a modern consumer. Mm -hmm. So this is like one of those companies that really bridges that gap between heritage and modern because fabrics woven on these vintage looms, a very sort of slubby texture. Mm -hmm. um, with this traditional detailing, like the donut buttons from the Type 1, yeah. but it's on a Type 3. Um, the seams are constructed in a, a hand-sewn kind of um, design or technique. Mm -hmm. um, but they've, they've got all the features of the Type 3. All right, so we've gone through Type 1, 2, and 3 as far as the fits and the styling and when they came out. What's the best? This is the internet, so we have to say best denim jacket. Okay. Um, the best denim jacket, in my opinion? The, be or? the best type, the best type. Um, for me, um, I'm a type two guy. Um, I, d I, I like it because it's not too short, mm -hmm. but it still gives you that sort of boxiness. I like having both pockets there. I'm not a huge fan of the cinch back. Um, yeah. I, I have to say it's a little bit fiddly. Yeah. You know, like, and, and the type two is great for layering up. Um, but I, lo I love the type three as well. You know, it's. Uh, yeah, I think if I were to pick, I've only got a type two, but uh, I think I like the, the type three. I do like the more, the, the slightly simpler design that it has as well. Mm. Even though it does have like the V sewn in, but like I think, I think that that's probably like a big reason for why this is this is the most popular one out in, out in the world. Uh, because yeah, you got the two pockets, but you don't have the, the, the detailing or the knife pleats either. So it's just like simpler and a bit more modern. It's timeless, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's something that we've all grown up with, you know, see, seeing these jackets everywhere. You know, it's, people have a new one, people have an old one, like handed down from generation to generation. Um, you know, certainly in the workshop over at Soldier Blue, we get we get loads of Type Threes, which have just um, gone from father to son to son to son, mm. and, and and in need of desperate r restoration. Cool, um, which is which is fun. All right, well, keep an eye out for our visit to Soldier Blue, which is a denim repair shop nearby. Uh, and otherwise, thanks very much for your time explaining. And there's a lot of here that I didn't know myself, so thanks for your expertise. No, I hope this is helpful. Yeah. yeah great. All right. That's the video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel. And there's a link below to check out Son of a Stag's massive collection of denim jackets uh, if there's something here that you like.